back in 2021, New Year's Eve, I had a woman driving to the rear of me on the motorway. Um, the insurance were great in the aspect of they got the repairs on the vehicle sorted, um, even though that took a little bit of time, that was all sorted. What I was told I was eligible to claim was my personal injury um, for whiplash and time off uh, from work due to the incident. Um, it's now 2023. Um, when I have spoken to Hastings, they've then put me through to the solicitors that are dealing with it. They're saying that because the female that was driving, she was driving her mother's car, so the repairs were covered by her mum's insurance as a third party, but my personal injury claim has to be submitted to herself. She's a British national that lives in Switzerland. They're saying that it's, at the minute, uh, difficult because they don't know legalities of where they're standing with certain things. So it's, who do I turn to now? Is there an ombudsman that I can get advice from? Because this has been dragging on, or if I just missed a window that okay, I can't so, claim anything more. So have you, is this your solicitors who are telling uh, you they don't know what to do? So the solicitors are saying that they've sent the paperwork off and uh, it's in contest at the minute and that I should have had something back six months after the incident. So sometime last year I should have when, had... When you say they've sent the paperwork off, do you mean they've issued proceedings in court? Yes. Uh, is is the issue that they've been unable to serve the proceedings on the on the driver in Switzerland? Uh, they're saying that the, the, the it was served, everything was done that way. They're just... Um, it's this lady's insurance that's uh, a Switzerland-based insurance are saying that she's not eligible for proceedings, that she doesn't have anything to answer for. I've got dash cam footage, I've got mobile phone recording of this lady admitting that it was her fault. She was on a mobile phone um, and that was caught on dash cam yeah. as well as her admitting. Like, yeah. and, and she accepted fault, but now they're okay. saying that she's not liable. So for I, any... I, I don't know. I would have to look up... Um... I can't carry in my head the rules for suing people in every country in the world. I don't know the rules about suing people in Switzerland, although you say that your solicitors have correctly served the papers. Uh, however, if the issue is that she is uninsured uh, because the, she's not being backed up by the insurance, there is an organisation called the Motor Insurers Bureau that pays up in respect of claims where the other driver didn't have insurance. Right. So okay. I would tell your solicitors to um, contact the Motor Insurers Bureau yeah. and put a claim in there mm -hmm. and and see how that pans out. Because what they need to be doing is, is doing both simultaneously. They need to bring a claim and pursue the claim against the woman in Switzerland yeah. and the Motor Insurers Bureau, because we don't know whether she was insured or not. Uh, if it turns out she was insured, the insurance company should pay. I mean, it's possible there'll need to be enforcement proceedings as well, but the insurance company should pay. If it turns out she wasn't in insured, then the Motor Insurance Bureau will pay.